Hi everyone, my name is Brenda and I'm a final year accountancy student in NTU or Nanyang Technological University. First off, congratulations on receiving your A-levels results. I hope you got what you wanted, or if not, you already did your best. Well, the purpose of this video today is to talk about accountancy in NTU, specifically what you're going to be studying, what's the workload like, what's life like under um, this course. So why I wanted to make this video is to help um, people like you make more informed choices on the university you'll be choosing and the course that you'll be taking for the next few years of your life. When I was applying to accountancy, there was always a lot of people telling me that, you know, it's good to study accountancy because you definitely get a job in future. Every business needs an accountant because they are the core of all the businesses. But at the same time, you also hear a lot of stories about people who end up not liking accountancy and not doing anything related to accountancy kind of in future. Um, yeah, so I hope that this video will help you to not make a choice that you might regret and better help you eliminate some choices. <laughs> so let's dive first to talk about the workload. That is actually the main focus of this video because uh, this would probably give you a gauge on whether or not you like studying this course. So first thing that I have to say is that there is a lot of things to do when you study accountancy. It's not that easy. Um, yeah, one thing you, you would know is that accountancy in NTU, accountancy in business actually, is a three year course. So actually accountancy started in NTU and NUS adapted it or something like that. So they made it four years when originally it was three years. And I don't know if it's because of that, but it's quite packed, I would say, the curriculum. Even though the um, number of courses you take per sem is actually quite manageable in terms of the AU, which is academic units. I think the maximum number of AUs I took in one sem was 20 or 21 AUs um, in year two. Yeah. Okay, so what you will find yourself doing most of the time is not is math but not actually very complex math so what it involves is like plus minus divide multiply just this basic four operators nothing you that you will meet in like JC but why it's so difficult is because there's a lot of rules to remember and to apply yeah so basically for example depreciation is actually one of the easiest concepts already but um, it's just talking about how an asset's like, um, value will decrease over the years as it's being used and basically just like take the value divided by the useful life. So yeah, we're just doing basic division. But it's important to remember like what to do to get even that, to get, even get the answer, which is the problem. Okay, so other than that, uh, for NTU's case, accountancy and business is more of seminar format so they love using this word like flip classroom seminar format and to be honest you have to be very very careful when you hear that word like flip classroom because it actually affects a lot on how the class is being taught so I know that SMU they also emphasize a lot on like oh um, we have a seminar style format and basically when I did an exchange there so I did a local exchange um, and I took like accountancy related course it's so different from NTU's case so in NTU what you have is like basically in like JC you know you have lectures and tutorials they'll give you these recorded lectures and you have to watch them by yourself at home, um, attempt some quizzes online, which are typically multiple choice, and then after you finish all the lectures, then you do your tutorial questions. But compared to SMU, what I experienced was that they didn't even have recorded lectures. They didn't even have tutorial questions. You just had to go to class and you get taught on the spot and you'll get to attempt some questions on the spot. Some of the benefits that I found with 
either you know f- learning format is that firstly for SMU case it definitely saves you a lot a lot a lot of time because you didn't really have to prepare beforehand um, but for NTU's case it's a bit helpful in the sense that you are able to tackle very complex problems you're able to solve them so for example when I was in SMU the questions that we could do in the exams were actually pretty I would say not simple but like very um, it doesn't have a lot of like permutations of the scenarios that could occur that you have to do the like accounting treatments for but for NTU's case you know they definitely go through a lot of scenarios to make sure that you have a very comprehensive understanding of um, what are the specific sen- uh, situations that could occur and how to you know apply the accounting principles for but at the same time you know I'm a very I'm a bit skeptical whether or not that will actually help in the workplace because you know they give a lot of very straightforward questions they tell you like oh this is the case this is the case you just have to manipulate the numbers but in real life you know who actually gives you all the numbers so like so like just handed out to you like that I feel like it's very rare so I'm not sure whether um, being able to understand all the scenarios will actually help you but I mean it's kind of a benefit if you look at the exam style yeah okay why I wanted to talk about the lesson format in addition to that was that um, like I mentioned before for NTU's case you really spend a lot of time self-studying and doing the lecture questions so it's kind of crazy because some of the accounting core courses which is like very very heavy on accounting um, they have like hundreds of slides to go through before each lesson so every week you have to go through like two um, two hours worth of lectures and then even do before so you haven't even attempted the questions but you really spend like two three hours on the lectures and what I found is that actually I spend so much more than two three hours on the lectures because um, I'm trying to actually take down notes or trying to interpret what the lecturer is saying and that actually wastes a lot of time um, one of the takeaways I found is that if you are not a very good interpreter which means like I say like you cannot inference things very well you will waste a lot of time on studying accountancy because the lectures are they want to keep things short so they refrain from like you know explaining comprehensively and at the same time you cannot ask questions that will clarify your doubts so in this sense it's also a drawback because when you have questions from the lectures you actually have to wait quite long before you can address them with your lecturer or your uh, professor otherwise you can only like email but I don't really favor emailing because there's a lot of miscommunication when that when you're using that form as a conversational tool yeah so I actually totally did not like doing the self-learning part um, by watching the lectures first and yeah one other thing that I didn't don't like about lectures is that most of the time when the lecturers are talking right they don't like refer to what they are actually what point they're actually talking about so they just be like oh this is this, 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 this and then we look at the slide like what, what what are they actually talking about what are they referring to and what they just show on the on the video right away I call lecture it's just the slides everything out there already so I'm very confused because you know compared to when you're teaching on like a whiteboard you actually write down what's first what's second what third and it's a very logical sequence to it but when it's just slides it misses out on that very critical element yeah which kind of is a very big drawback for me yeah actually i found out that like i mentioned earlier you know i take a long time to watch the lectures and it might even take me one whole day to finish watching just one course lecture so after lecture you have the tutorial so tutorials are basically lessons where you attempt the tutorial question first then you go for lessons and in the lessons the professors will go through all the questions and like um, discuss with you what are the answers 
and I felt that you know a lot of tutorial questions are actually rushed because firstly they may us do a lot of questions so like three four questions and you know three four sounds like very little but then you'll be damn surprised because the questions are so long it's not even like I mean not even like the question itself it's the case facts so much information that you need to consider and um, yeah I felt that you must always be on the ball if you want to like, clarify your doubts so basically when doing the tutorial questions you're like oh, don't understand this you know and when you go for tutorial it's like you must ask it on time if not they just go on to the next question already and then yeah it's over for you yeah and this especially for like accounting um, very accounting heavy courses something else that I really really don't like about tutorial questions is that most of the time they will teach you concepts in the lectures right the record recorded lectures and when you go into the tutorial questions right you realize like it's not the same it's the same concepts but you have not been taught on how to deal with this kind of questions which again for people like me where i need to see a pattern to things it's very disorienting and very challenging because i have to deal with a problem that i've never met before and i do multiple questions uh, multiple problems like this if not I will have no clue what's going on during the tutorials. So again, I spend a lot of time on tutorial questions as well, which sucks. Okay, and next thing that you'll be doing a lot of is called presentations. And presentations is basically just about um, presenting your answers to the seminar questions. One thing that I really also don't like about this is that Again, like tutorial questions, there are concepts that come out in the presentation questions that you have never learned before, that like you have never met the same scenario of. Actually, I think I asked a few professors about this for different courses before, like why do we have to do questions that we've never met before? Uh, it's very confusing, you know, and they're like, oh, that's because we want you to, uh, you know, know more scenarios, more situations and how to account for them. I mean, I get that but then like why do you have to grade on the the answers then like whether or not you're correct because most of the students right they just want their questions their answers to be correct even though they might not even completely understand the concept and it makes it very competitive because every group you kind of feel like oh i have to get the correct answer if not i'll be worse off than the other group but then now it's like how do i even do this question when i've never even encountered it before you know, so I was very, very confused and like uh, kind of annoyed by this pattern in accounting courses. Okay. Yeah, so actually one thing I found out is that uh, since the lessons are very fast paced, right, it's very content heavy. Um, a lot of concepts that we have to do are not actually addressed in the lectures. Then many people don't really understand a lot of the um, things that I've been taught but at the same time very few are willing to ask questions during class because I think of shyness or something like that yeah then you get them you kind of get a misconception like oh everyone's around me is so smart because they don't ask questions and then you realize oh actually they don't ask questions because they don't understand and then you'll be like so actually the lectures and tutorials are not very very effective you know yeah okay but one plus point since i've been talking a lot about the cons and what i don't like is that the finals are open book it helps kind of because like you know you can just write out some of the patterns that you found and then um what <laughs> what some people do actually is that they bring out all the present they print out all the presentation like answers the seminar tutorial answers, the lecture slides, and then when they go to the lecture hall, right, they just copy the the journal entries and stuff like that. I don't even know how to how to explain it, but like it's just a structure. I just copy the structure, you know. Um, so that's a good point. I mean, it's a good thing that all the finals are open book, except actually text. I think text is cheat sheet. Business law is closed book. So that one was quite bad because business law required a lot of. Uh, memorization also if you don't memorize you die yeah okay so another plus point is that 
most of the content, I mean not most, some of the content is actually interconnected, um, especially if you take the high level courses, so like from year two onwards. Um, and I like that part because you get to see how you know the courses are tied together, why you're taking this course in this particular year or semester, and yeah, so that's a fun thing to see. Um, another plus point is that there are some fun courses or modules that you get to take throughout the education here. Um, one, I think a few that I like was um, organizational behavior. So for other people, it's like very um, fluff, you know, uh, you kind of write you kind of learn about like oh, how organizations work, how to be a good boss, how to work p- better together with people. But what I liked about it was like we get to do um, videos and skits and work together as a team, just have fun basically. And marketing also, so marketing a lot of people didn't like it because like it's very, um, very focused heavily on being able to sell yourself or sell something which how to say it isn't very like conceptually based so it's harder I mean it's harder to use creativity at most times um, yeah but I really like some of these fun mods which wasn't really about accounting okay and nearing the end of what I had to talk about actually is uh, one point about oh yeah how NTU has restructured their curriculum so I think two years back for the new batch of students they introduced things called like ICC I'm not very sure what they're about because I didn't get to take them but I've heard from juniors that a lot of people don't like these mods as well because it's not a very heavy uh, module you have to take but people cannot score well for this because it's very competitive yeah so maybe something you should take note of and yeah lastly since I talked a lot is summary of like what I've discussed Okay, so basically what I talked about was the workload. Workload in accounting courses is crazy. You have to do flip classroom from it, which is about lectures and tutorials. Lectures take one day to read, uh, to watch. Tutorials take another day to watch, uh, to do, sorry. And you have to teach yourself a lot of the times. The tutorials are very fast paced. Um, you have to be on the ball. Okay, and yeah, I've got to mention this, but basically, if you feel like you have to be on the ball and everything, you probably either sacrifice your sleep or your social life, which (coughs) is bad both ways. (coughs) Okay, and then I talk about presentation questions where there's a lot of concepts that you're required to do that you've never learned before. Um, The finals are open book, which is good. There's fun courses and there's internal connectedness among the courses. (coughs) And then there's a random point about ICC modules for um, the new batches of students. So in summary, how to know if you enjoy studying accountancy in NTU, you have, you are a person who likes sitting in front of computers for hours. You like to watch recorded lectures that have very monotone voices. You like to read super cheap stuff so basically just go online and search something called sfrs or singapore financial reporting standards click on any pdf and try to read them and see if you like to read um you like to use excel and you like spending one to two days watching lectures and doing tutorials so it's basically constant work after work after work and very quite dull stuff actually other than the fun modules and interesting scenarios that you meet um, yeah so if you like doing this stuff is what you are bound to do 80% of the time for accountancy in NTU yeah so I hope this video has helped you in your university choice your course choice and yeah I mean you can comment down below if this has influenced you to join and study accounting or if this has influenced you to actually eliminate accountancy as one of your choices uh, that would be interesting to know yep so if you have any other questions you can ask below i guess and yeah that's all bye good luck for your applications